Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we're going to be unboxing this edible image printer. I ordered it from Icing Images from their Amazon account. It comes in like a bundle. So anyway, we're going to be unboxing, setting it up, and doing the very first print. Um, I've never used this printer, so I have no idea how it works. Let's just get started. So when you're deciding on which edible image printer to buy, keep in mind that any regular printer can be turned into an edible image printer as long as you can either find compatible edible ink cartridges or as long as the printer itself has refillable cartridges and that way you can just fill up the cartridges with the edible ink. And I also ordered um, a pack of the icing sheets, so I'll show you guys these um, once I put them into the printer. Okay, and here is our printer. Okay, we have our cord connected and now it's time to power. Oh. Okay, great. <laughs> oh, there we go. Okay, that's great. <laughs> So once it's done doing whatever it's doing, then we'll set up the ink. And we're going to lift this up. So you don't just lift up the first one, you have to lift up the second one too. And then the print head is going to start moving, um, which is a good thing because you need it to get out of the way of this so you can put your um, ink in. I have magenta first and they're labeled on the top and on the side. So you're going to remove this little black part that's on it and then this just goes straight into the machine. Just click it down. When you insert the cartridge correctly, it makes this little beeping sound. Bomb! Okay, so now I just assume we close it. Later. Okay. So we're going to press OK. Let's see if it goes in here. And for this one, um, I'm just using regular printer paper just for the print test. Um, I don't want to waste one of the sheets that I bought, the icing sheets. It should stick out like this. So put this back in and then pull this thing out. This thing needs to be out for it to work. OK, press OK. This is what it printed, and so far, so good. I mean, it looks great from here. But when we upload the icing sheets, that's a different story. We got to see what it does and how it performs then. And I think we're ready to print now. Okay, so this is the packet that the icing sheets come in. Um, and again, it has 24 in here. They are eight and a half by 11. Okay, so this is how they look. So the icing sheet itself is on a plastic backing. And this just obviously is to help it run through the printer. Okay, so icing sheets. You don't have to get this brand. There are plenty of brands out there, but I did have an edible image printer before and these are honestly the best ones that you will find. Other brands, the um, icing sheet itself tends to stick to the back part or to the plastic part and it's just impossible to remove it. These come off easily as you can see. It'll come off easily. Um, it's actually what you want because you, the last thing you want is to print something and then have it get stuck onto the plastic part and then you can't use it. I am going to insert these papers or these icing sheets into the printer now and then we will print something up and see how it performs. <laughs> oh my god, I'm actually over this. Okay. <laughs> I printed on the wrong side. That's fun. Okay. 
So, your icing sheets. They have to go in upside down. The plastic side should be facing up. I'm trying this again. <laughs> Okay, wow, that actually looks really good. It looks great, it's clear, you can read everything. And yeah, so basically, so far, so good. This looks great, I am so happy with it. And again, this is just the first print, so we'll see how time goes on. I hope I covered everything. I feel like I was all over the place in this video trying to figure it out. But if you guys have any questions, which I'm sure you will have, leave those down below and i think that is it i'm really hoping that i covered everything that i should have covered but yeah thank you guys so much for watching again and i will see you guys next time so this video was filmed back in april and it's currently the end of july so it's been a few weeks or a few months that i've had it i just wanted to give you guys a quick like update on how it's been treating me so it prints great still um, I'll insert clips of the most recent prints, but I will say that this printer tends to clog, or at least for me. I don't know if it's the printer itself or the cartridge. I think it's more of the cartridge that I'm having the issue with. So I did have to reach out to their customer service, and they were able to help me. Like, the printer is fine now, and it's completely fixable when it does clog. It's just a pain because... Obviously, you know, nobody wants to spend time on that. So I just wanted to give you guys that info.